LeBron James has endorsed Hillary Clinton in a in an op-ed that he uh, presented in the Business Times, International Business or something. I, hell, I forgot. Anyway, um, but it's actually going to be written or published today or tomorrow in the Akron Journal, uh, the local newspaper. Um, but uh, it, it, Ohio, a major swing state that Donald Trump is doing good in, um, Hillary Clinton has went after a, a, a pretty important endorsement, not a political endorsement, not a pol- politician endorsement, but uh, LeBron James. They just are on the heels of winning their first championship as the Cleveland Cavaliers. And let me just insert here that I'm still personally bitter. I am bitter as F over uh, LeBron James leaving Miami. I am a Miami Heat fan. I have been a Miami Heat fan since 1991. The franchise basically started in 89. Uh, with an expansion, uh, but uh, I'm I'm seriously bitter about that. Like so, LeBron, you know, I like him as a human being, great athlete. You can't deny him a good person, but can LeBron can kick bricks. No, I don't even care about the endorsement. That's not what makes me mad. I'm still mad about him leaving the Miami Heat, LeBron. But I digress. Let me read some of you <laughs> some of his words um, in explaining why he's endorsing Hillary Clinton. Two years ago, according to LeBron. I told you that I was coming home to Northeast Ohio, where I was born and raised. When I came back, I had two missions. In June, thanks to my teammates and all of your support, I accomplished my on-the-court mission. We came back, blah, 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 they won. Um, Holding that trophy was beyond words, blah. Okay, as a kid, I didn't have much money. It was just my mom and me, and things were rough at times, but I had a basketball. (laughs) That gave me a family, a community, and an education. That's a more than a lot of children in Akron can say. There are a lot of people who want to tell kids who grew up like me and looked like me that they just don't have anything to look forward to. That's dead wrong. And that's why I came back to Cleveland, the second mission, um, to continue my second mission. Uh, I am determined to make sure my kids in Akron have what they need to become their best selves. When I look at this year's presidential race, it's clear which candidate believes the same thing. Only one person running understands the struggles of an Akron child born in poverty. Pause. (laughs) I can only read so far. I don't think there's anybody running. Not Jill Stein, not Gary Johnson, not Donald Trump, and definitely not Hillary Clinton. Definitely not Donald Trump. None of them understand what a poor black kid goes through in America. But I'm going to let you finish talking, LeBron. All right. Um, I support Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> Only one person truly understands the struggles of an African, of an Akron child born in poverty. And when I think about the kinds of policies and ideas the kids and my foundation need from our government, the choice is clear. That candidate is Hillary Clinton. I support Hillary because she would build on the legacy of my good friend Barack Obama. Pause. What legacy is that, uh, uh, LeBron? Be specific for me, man. Be specific. If you're talking about the legacy of not having a quasi, a proto-fascist or quasi-white nationalist following the first black president, okay, I can dig that. But in terms of an actual legacy of what he's done, like, anyway, see last week's episode. All right. Like my foundation, Hillary has been a champion for children and their futures. And and pause. I'm sorry. You know, I'm okay with LeBron endorsing Hillary. That's his business. Just like those of you who don't want to ever see Liberty. That's the I'm not fighting with anybody over who they want to vote for anymore. Period. Vote for and do whatever the hell you want to do. Matter of fact, you can just stay home as far as I'm concerned. Do what makes you happy because life is too short for somebody to force you or guilt you into doing something that you don't like. And so since I give you that freedom, I'm I'm okay with LeBron endorsing Hillary. That's his business. But I will dissect this here letter. All right. For over 40 years, she's been working to improve public schools. Huh? Um, Expand to access to health care. Yes, she did do a little bit of that. Um, Not much. Uh, Support children's hospitals. She did. And so much more. She wants to make sure kids have access to good education. Eh, No matter what the zip code they live in, she'll rebuild schools that are falling apart and put more money in the computer science. Yeah, She'll probably do some computer science. Uh, Well, she'll make sure teachers are paid what they deserve. No, 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 she's not. Nobody is because nobody is really 
actually paying attention to that problem in a meaningful, substantive way. Nobody is. Uh, she also plans to make college a reality for more people in America. Yes, but we can do better because we can make college free. Um, my kids in Akron are proof. The hope and the motivation that come from knowing college can be their future no matter what obstacles they may face. Finally. Thank you, LeBron. This was a long letter. All right. I cut out 75% of it. But it was, it was, you know, I'm still mad. You left Miami, so whatever. Uh, finally, we must address the violence of every kind. The African-American community is facing, facing in our, experiencing in our streets and seeing on our TVs. I believe rebuilding our communities by focusing on at-risk children. However, I am not a politician. A politician. I don't know everything, and it will, take, uh, it will take finally to end the violence. But I do know we need a president who brings us together and keeps us informed or unified. Uh, policies and ideas that divide us are more are not the solution. We must all stand together and no matter where we are from, the color of our skin. Um, and Hillary is running on the message of hope and unity that we need. Uh, this is the, this is really all I want to read. There's a lot of work to be done in Akron and across our great country. We need a president who understands our community and will build on the legacy of president Obama. So let's get out and register to vote, show up to the polls and vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton. I almost put an applause there. No, I'll put an applause there. I'll put an applause there. I'll tell you why. I mean, hey, he's going to take a lot of heat on this endorsement. So before, before people jump off the boat and say LeBron's a sellout, do you realize the kind of shitstorm that's going to come his way in Ohio? He, I mean, literally. He's going to take a major hit because it's so one, I'm going to applaud him for his bravery for doing this. Not if not, if you, if you agree with him or not, he's about to take a real hit like never before. He's, you think he got, you think you got hate when you left Cleveland, Brian, you about to see hate on a new, you think they burned your Jersey before? I mean, there's nothing that divides America more than partisan politics. And once you step into that fray, I mean, they don't care who you are. Jesus Christ himself could come down and say, I want you to vote for Bernie Sanders. And evangelicals across the world will renounce their faith and walk away because they hate the other side that much. So for that reason and the amount of bravery and the amount of heat that he's getting ready to take, I would applaud him. I don't agree with a lot of what he said in here because they're, you know, it's he's a but he's a basketball player so i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it pretty steady you know i'm not even gonna critique it too much other than to say you know good luck with that lebron they're, they're about to come after you like never before uh and if people hated you before they sure gonna hate you now i don't hate you i just think you made a bad move leaving miami but you know i guess you won the championship so that's anyway i guess my i mean hell Dwayne Wade has left Miami, so I guess I can't be, if I'm be mad at anybody, I should be mad at Pat Riley at this point.